Hello there, Star Wars and miniature board game fans alike. We have a brand new game just released today, June 2nd, from Atomic Mass Games. And this is called Star Wars Shatterpoint. Man, look at this box. Holy moly, look at that art. Looks so realistic. Looks like it's straight from Clone Wars. Maul. Got a nice battle here. And then got Anakin and Ventress in the background. So this is going to be the core box. I'm going to do an unboxing today. This is going to be a skirmish-based miniature game. And the core set, I believe it's around 165 US dollars for the core set in the United States. It's going to be fluctuate a little, depending on where you live. Here's the thing, though. This is a hefty box. I have fairly above average hands size and this box is at least probably I don't know almost I would say almost seven inches deep so it's a deep box and you know we're talking we're talking probably a foot and a half probably a foot foot by foot by 16 inches Twelve by sixteen by seven, huge box. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, get back into our light. Okay, cool. Check this puppy out. Here's the contents of the miniatures. There's some light here. All right, who do we have? We got Ahsoka. Next to her is Bo, Bo Katan. Next to Ahsoka is going to be Lord Maul. Followed by Gar Saxon. And look at these models. Man. Look at Ahsoka. That looks incredibly good. Sabine. Maul. Looks like he's from the movie. Ventress. She's really nice. Painter in that nice purple blue look. Battle droids are fairly accurate. Another set of them. We got Rex. I know he comes with an alternate head, so you can have him with his mask or without. And some of these characters have that. It's a battle droid. It's a tactical droid. His name's Kalani. I think you can take off a little hologram. I think for Garsh Sex, and also you can give him and bo -Katan. You can take off or add their helmets. I've got, of course, my personal favorite, Anakin Skywalker. Chosen one. Got the Death Watch Mandalorians painted in their red. You can paint them in... And these things are pretty cool. Where's Jango? Uh, this guy looks like Jango, but he's not actually Jango. Just a Mandalorian. Um, but that's the cool thing about these. You can actually paint these however you want. So, for instance, these 501st Troopers, I could paint them green if I wanted to. Or the Death Watch Mandos. You know, I could paint them a little darker, which I probably would. And then, you know, maybe not make this guy look like Jango Fett. Maybe, maybe give a little more color variation for this Mando. Ventress, I think I want to uh, paint her robes an orange Sith Lord color. Like I believe she had in either like some of the games or comics or something like that. Maul. Maul has Sith robes, so when he's a Sith apprentice, they wear light brown like Jedi robes. Could do that. Soka. This is Ahsoka after leaving the Jedi Order during the Battle of Mandalore. I suppose you could always give her her green and yellow lightsaber if you wanted to, or... I don't know if you can really do much else with her outfit. But anyway, you also... So you get this terrain. This is part of the mechanics of the game. It's heavily focused around these like catwalks that you battle around. And then you'll also have like objectives to control. And that's kind of where you know the conflict originates from. This is the contents of the box. 16 minis, terrain pieces. You use specific movement tools and range tools for movement and attacks and powers and what have you. There are character cards, which are the unit stat cards. There's stances, which each character, like Dooku, for instance, is a pretty cool, or I guess Maul is a probably better example. Darth Maul 
So Darth Maul is cool because he has two different stances. You can alternate. So there's basically two different ways to play him. And they will give him different like damage or different... Whenever he makes an attack, he's going to do it a little differently. Whenever he's defending, he might defend a little better with one or a little worse with one. I know his in particular, one of them is more focused on dealing damage. And then I think one of them might have a saber throw. It's so like a ranged attack. When, whereas the other one doesn't, potentially. So you could have differences like that. But anyways, they get a whole... Uh, what about Star Wars? Let's open this puppy up. I'm going to put the camera down real quick so I can actually do that. Alright, so we're going to start back up from here. Took the box lid off. This is one of the first things you'll see. So this is going to be the two squads. The game's broken up into little, into little squads. Darth Maul and Ventress are going to be your leaders and with your leaders you have a certain amount of points to build a roster with. You can build your roster from the same era so for instance obviously this is Clone Wars or prequels there's going to be a um, there's going to be a original trilogy era so Darth Maul, Darth, um, Darth Sidious Luke, uh, Old Ben, those type of characters, Han, Chewie, there's going to be them, and the same kind of thing applies, where you can you can build using bad guys or good guys in your squad, but they have to be from the same era. Um, so you would have two primary units in your strike team. Your strike team will consist of the two, a primary for each. These are going to be your secondary units. Gar Saxon goes with Maul, Kalani with Ventress, and then Maul takes his Mandos into battle with him, and Ventress takes the B1 battle droids. So these are this is a full team for the dark side. I also purchased the Count Dooku box today, and that's pretty cool because it comes with instead of B1s, it comes with Magna Guards, two of them. And then for the supporting unit, the secondary, they call them, I believe, or, or maybe support, I got Jingo Fett. So I think he'll be a cool change from, like, the tactical droid or maybe Gore Saxon. One of the two, I'm sure, will go. And then I would imagine probably Ventures get swapped out. But anyway, back to the box. So first thing I give you, it's a really cool, like, star backdrop. I think that's what they uh, intend for this to be used as. They did something nice with the packaging for the box and gave the players more than just cardboard. They gave them backdrop cardboard. You can actually paint your miniatures. They do not come painted at all or assembled. You have to assemble them with plastic glue. And supposedly the best way to do it for the bases is to use super glue for those so they don't break off as easy. But you clip them off, get rid of all of the, um, use like a, a model knife to get rid of all of the little residual pieces of plastic. And then from there, the plastic glue really works well to bond the different pieces together, how they come on the, on the spray. Be careful with the lightsabers, you don't break them. And then you would have to start priming and painting and all that kind of stuff. So very happy that AMG gave us the backdrops. There's two. There's uh, three of them, I guess. There's like a, a Hoth or Renvar or something like that. Got Tatooine or Geonosis. A space. Final Frontier. And they actually like teach you about using the backdrops. Like you fold them. This one's cool. What's that shatter point? And it would not be an atomic mass game without an abundance of tokens. I'm sure some of these, I know some of these are force, some of these are like objective markers, health, status conditions. But anyway, that's enough of that. We have our core rulebook with that gorgeous box art. Somebody did it well. This is nice. It also has all the symbol glossary and attack order die faces. Yeah. So 
turn sequence to. But basically, this is going to be what you use for 99% of the time. At least until you, at least after you get them rules down. Rule book. What are we looking at here? So pretty ooh, look at that art, that's cool. Like that. They're pretty simple game mechanics. So is your little like teacher about tips to the game. Fun. Next thing we got in the box. Is a whole lot of plastic. This is going to be these are the terrain pieces, character bases. Um man, this might all just be terrain. That is insane. It's like this thing is, you know, almost two hundred dollars. But you got like you got like three, four inches of plastic here, I feel like. And then take another divider off. It's like more backdrop in space. Oh look, more plastic. And so many characters. <laughs> Take a guess what's next. Plastic. And bags. Alright, what do we have left? Yellow compartments. Looks like we have two sets of dice. Maybe? Maybe just one. Oh yeah, just one. There's just one little false bottom here. The set of attack and defense dice. I want to say the blue ones are I actually don't know. One of them is one. <laughs> uh, I want to say it was attack, but I could be wrong. This is the struggle tracker. So this is how you determine who's winning the game. Uh, the title consistently changed throughout the game, which is kind of the cool aspect of it, I think. They get, they get rid of turns in this to allow for that. I think. And we have our mission cards. With our character cards. We have the little cubes for the struggle tracker. And yep, that would be the box. You guys saw the back of the box already. There's look at that. It's light side units. Very nice. Here's the light side characters named out. Supposedly the 501st are pretty bad in this game. Which is ironic. I open the cards because these look cool. So here's the force, this yellow. This is the affiliation, the or no, this is the era, that's right? Galactic Republic era. Three, um I know the PC I know it's points basically. Point cost. That's what it is. Three three point cost. B ones, supporting unit. Okay, so these the the minions are supporting units then. Put the, um, they have a back side. Front side more or less just shows I guess the artist. Tomato farm. That's really weird. I don't know what that means. You got the um, down here you got the health pools, and then this is how many times they could be like knocked out more or less. You got different abilities. Don't know what these are, these are probably like Combat action, choose one of the target characters. <laughs> I hate this job. <laughs> oh, I love it. Make the BLN souls. There's Colony. Zero cost. That could join. So five cost, five point cost for a, this is secondary. Five point cost for a secondary is actually a lot. Which is kind of cool. So Kalani is actually a fairly good unit. Um, that's so that's one part. He can move all battle droids near him, so he can move a whole lot of battle droids all at once. He can just move the whole team. You don't have to pay for his force costs to keep him in reserve, so you can always have the free move online. Um, of course, that changes if he, I think if he gets knocked out, that costs an extra one maybe. Um, anyway, move on. You guys don't know how the game works. So here's Ventress. She has three force points. Resource you use in the game. It's extinguishable. Eight 
um, squad points is what she can bring. So that consists of Kalani, Battle Droids is eight. Here's her backside. She got Link Force Push. Let's get some cool stuff. Art's pretty dope. I guess it's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. Here's our Mandos. We have their four point cost. Super Commandos. Very sick. Of course, why would Mary Lori not have a jetpack? Got Gar Saxon, Merciless Commander. Love his helmet. The pricey Lego figure. Pride of the Mandalore. So he's a little. He's got a little less health than Kalani. There we go. Now we're getting here. Darth Maul. Nice Clone Wars. It's triggered face. So you can bring A as well. Same thing as Ventress. Maul is really good though. Supposedly it's just murdering. He's got an extra health more than Ventress maybe. He's got a force speed. He's got a bunch of rage. <laughs> so sick. Very sick. My brothers. I will first. Pretty cheap. It'll be a B1 price. Rex is Garth Saxon price. Not surprising. Count Rex. Get a move on, soldier. Alright. The goat. Anakin. See, Anakin's only seven squad points. It means. They're basically saying Anakin is so good to the point where your team has to be a little weaker to make up for it. And it makes sense. He's got a lot of health. And he has this force ability for two force that lets him attack twice and move in a turn. Which is pretty wild. Most characters can only attack once. Get some commandos and Bo Katan. And then, of course, very cool Ahsoka. Should I know more? Fitting title? Yeah, she's cool. She's got a low hit points, but she's very cool. Four, four. It's kind of interesting. Sash is the only one. With a low threat, low, the high cost secondary out of, any, out of everybody. I would have expected maybe, I don't know, Soka to have somebody a little more powerful. The folk team's only a four. She got low health too. Only eight. She can die fast. Cool thing about Shadow Point also is they have these cards. That you, your turn, how you play. You. Oops, wrong cards. Your turn, determine who you, your, what character you use. You have a deck of cards. You flip over. If I actually got there, I could show you. This is what one of them looks like. This is the Shadow Point card. The game's named after. So Bo Katan. Um Hondo, that's kinda cool. I didn't notice him before. Soka, Dooku, Obi Wan, Ventress, Grievous. No Grievous. No Grievous. But anyway, this lets this is how you determine what character you use in the game. You don't go with all of them at once. Each player alternates. And then this is what you this is a Soka's combat card. This is a, the combat tree I was talking about earlier. It's cool because it's like different stats. Here's the tree, depending on what you roll. Attack, defense, attack, um, uh, melee, non-melee. Then you flip it over and there's something different. So this is called form five, machine reverse grip. And this is Jarakai. And what I see, looking at this, 
Shark, hi. Has extra damage on it. Whereas the Sheen reversed grip is a whole lot more like jumping around in defense. This is what you use if you're fighting. This is what you use if you want to stay alive and want to heal. So I think that's part of the cool part. Each character feels a little more unique and doesn't get stale. All in all, I'm super excited for this game. Pretty much showed you guys everything from the unboxing. Like the art itself is gorgeous. Can't wait to like get these painted really well. Put them against that like, Tatooine backdrop, Hoth backdrop. Do some cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, sub, tell your friends. Get get people playing this game in shops. Normally you'll you'll be able to get like tournaments in, and it's cool because you can play against the best people in the world because this game isn't quite as popular as like a Yu-Gi-Oh is yet. So go find a shop and get to playing. Shatter some points. May the force be with you always.